Hey everyone, I'm Waga Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you've stopped by because you love seeing what people pick up in their Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. Warning, I'm probably gonna be a little cranky in this video. Um, I missed making my choices and let's just say what Ipsy provided to me is nowhere close to the amount of good products that I could have received had I remembered to make my selections. So missing that's on me, only allowing you to select for one day, boo, Ipsy. Come on, life gets in the way, you forget, and then the next day you're all excited and it's closed, done. All right, enough rambling. Uh, yeah, let's just say of my eight products, five are skincare, and of the three makeup, ugh, I'll just leave it at that. Um, and if you enjoy watching cranky people go on on a rant, while you're here, feel free to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon. All right, yeah, I'm normally not so cranky cranky. But when you see what's in this box, you'll be like, oh, girl, you get a pass. This month's box is curated by Alicia Keys. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, her skin. Well, it's probably why she has a skincare line. All right, so let's dive in and see the wonders of my box. All right, first item, top is open. What do we have here? Okay, so this is from Juice Beauty, and it is the Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser. Skincare item number one, and it's a cleanser. I mean, I use a cleanser, don't get me wrong, but I want my Patrick Star Powder Foundation. Smells fruity. I, it's giving me vibes of something that I can't recall. Ooh, maybe a little bit of Kate Somerville Exfolicate. Um, not so much green apple, which I thought it would smell like. Doesn't smell bad. Doesn't smell like green apples either. All right, what does that retail for? All right, so this is 123 milliliters and retails for $28. We have a product from Complex Culture, and this is the Ipsy in-house brand. And this here is the Filter Out Daily Blue Light Defense Mist. Now, I love a good mist, so I'm not going to poo-poo this product. But you realize there is no scientific uh, proof about blue light. All right, so this is in a plastic acrylic um, bottle the type that for a second I paused because I thought it might have been glass but it's not and it looks like it's charcoal um, is that just the bottle or the liquid color hmm let's test out the spritzer Ooh, looks to be a very fine mist all right let's give it a try excellent mister has a soft, subtle, I don't, don't even ask me what that scent is. I think it might just be the ingredients, not obnoxious. I'm not mad at this product just because I love face sprays. By the way, this retails for $34, which I find extremely pricey, particularly because it's complex culture, which has decent products, but that's more expensive than I want to say Tarte. Uh, Fenty, a lot of name brands, um, maybe less than Charlotte Tilbury, but dang, Ipsy. <laughs> All right, next item. All right, yes, we have a product from the box curator, Alicia Keys line, Key Soul Care, and this is the Skin Transformation Cream. You get 1.76 ounces or 50 grams. This is quite heavy. Uh, Alicia Keys has very lovely packaging. This is glass, and it's a very dark aubergine purple, which is quite, it, it doesn't pick up on camera as well as it looks in person. All right, it comes with one of these little stoppers. Let's see if it has a scent. Ooh, 
There is a subtle, I wouldn't call it a scent. It's more smells like the ingredients type of a scent. Not perfumey, not floral, nothing like that. All right, the cream is a little thicker. Um, so I might use this as like a night cream. What does this retail for? Okay, $32, which for Alicia's brand is on the higher end. Usually her products are around the $25 to $28 range. But for a uh, face cream, $32 is on par. All right, what other skincare item did I get in my box? Ooh, yes. Okay, so this is from Ole Hedrickson, and it's the Truth Serum, which is a collagen boosted with True C Complex. All right, so here's what the product looks like. It does come with a pump. This is bougie. It's glass, so I presume this will be pricey. Um, I love a good serum. I love using vitamin C. I don't want to swatch it just in case air gets in. I don't know. You have to be careful of vitamin C products to make sure that the vitamin C efficacy remains. But let's see how much this bad boy costs. Oh, yes. Bougie. It is $55 for 30 ml. All right. Moving along to the last of the skincare items. Honestly, this in person is much smaller than it seemed in the pictures. I mean, it's still big, but I honestly thought it was twice the size. Uh, this here is the Unicorn CBD Whipped Body Polish Soothe and Glow from Truly. And I did see some other people get this in their box and their comment, okay, so there is a safety lid. Their comment was that it's advertised as a polish, which typically means to exfoliate, but there were no little bits in here to do that polishing. Um, I'm curious. Oh, okay. It came right off. Um, ooh, it smells good. And look how pretty. It's like rainbow, purple, and green. It literally feels like frosting. All right, let's try some on. It is a little thick. Feels a little greasy. But that might be good to apply right when you get out of the shower. It smells almost like a Slurpee. A little cola, a little sweet, a little cotton candy. I don't know. Let me see. Are you supposed to wash this off? Or is it more like a body lotion? Hold on. Oh, no. Okay. Not a moisturizer. Definitely use in the shower and... Apply it, circular motions, and then rinse it off. I'm going to have to go wash my hands when I'm done filming. All right, what do they say that retails for? Holy cow, this 2-ounce 60 ml jar is $35. By the way, this is, yes, real glass. All right, now on to the makeup items in this box. Leave me your comments and let me know if you would be excited to get the following. All right, so from Woma Beauty, this is the Brow Fro. And we all know how frequently I do my brows, although today I did wear a brow gel that's slightly tinted. All right, what shade is this in? Because I think I need to start doing my brows. Um, they aren't as fluffy as they once were. This is in the shade 02, which is not very helpful. If I, if she has 18 shades, okay, it's light. If she has three shades, then it's medium. Um, let's, okay. Does come with a spoolie, rather tiny, very thin spoolie. It's the type that twists up, very fine tip. And I don't know, I'm just going to swatch it because at this point, it is what it is. Okay, so it's either dried out waxy or it's not boating very well on top of this uh, unicorn cbd polishing stuff all right let's try it on the oh well uh barely there so i guess for me that's good it looks to be a very light taupey i don't know uh, let's assume two is 
Wow, that's pretty light. So if two, is there a one that's even lighter than that? Although, I guess I'm not the fairest of the fair, but I'm pretty fair. All right, so this retails for $22, and it actually has a longer name than what I said. It's the Brow Fro Baby Hair Ultra Slim Brow Defining Pencil, and in the shade two. All right, next item. Please don't be a repeat shade. All right, so this is from LYS. I subscribed to the AIA Beauty Bundle, and this month's box was curated by LYS. So, what is this? Okay, so this is the Aim High Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter in the shade Brave, and in parentheses it says Champagne. All right, so I'm excited about that because the one I did get in the AIA Beauty Bundle, it was like in a really dark bronze, meant for someone with much darker skin tone than I have. All right, so they do have gorgeous packaging. Everything comes in a triangle shape. So let's see what this shade is all about. All right, that is what it looks like. And let's spread it out. Ooh. It looked a little dark when I just plopped it on, but spread out. When you blend it in, it's lovely. The highlighter uh, retails for $19. Let's move along to the last item. The last item is this product here from Bobbi Brown, which is the Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. It is in the shade Golden Bronze 9. All right, this is what the shade looks like. This product is bougie pricey. It's $32 for a cream eyeshadow stick. Um, let's swatch it. All right, it is right there. Very taupey, taupey, bronzy. Um, it does kind of shift a little bit in the light. Do I reach, grab for, or use cream shadow sticks very often? No. It's makeup. It's eyeshadow. It's from Bobbi Brown. Not horrible, just... Give me a palette. And I know people got palettes this month. Where's my palette? I, th I think I would be less cranky if I received a palette. All right, let's recap everything I got in the August 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I got a brow pencil from Oma Beauty, a liquid highlighter from LYS, a cream eyeshadow stick from Bobbi Brown, the Unicorn Whip Body Polish from Truly, the Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser from Juice Beauty, the Vitamin C Truth Serum from Ole Hendrickson, a Blue Light Defense Mist from Complex Culture, and a face cream from Keys Soul Care. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are already out in the open. It's okay, I mean, I definitely got my $60 worth just of the makeup products. Only three of the eight were makeup. Leave me a comment and let me know how frequently you reach for a liquid highlighter versus a normal highlighter. Everyone in the world probably does their brows. I don't do my brows. I need to start. But even if I did do my brows, really, a brow pencil. And then we have the um, cream eyeshadow stick. Granted, it's from Bobbi Brown, but I honestly, I don't reach for cream eyeshadow sticks very often. Also, let me know how frequently do you reach for a cream eyeshadow stick. That's what we had as far as makeup went. Now, for the skincare, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm excited to give this product a try. I've never, no, I take it back. I did get a, what do you call it? Lip whip, something for the lips. But I'm excited to try this body polish. Cleanser, I have so many cleansers. It will get used, just it's, it's the brow product of skincare, right? I mean, that and like a lip liner. Not very exciting. <laughs> I am excited to get this serum from Ole Hendrickson. I love a good mist. I think it's really overpriced, but I will definitely use it. 
and the mister is fantastic so it's going to be one where even when it goes empty i'm hanging on to that to use with other products uh this one from kiesel care i have a feeling i'm not going to like it as much i really don't care for heavy thick creams but i'll definitely give it a try all right leave me your thoughts and comments i'm going to list the msrp value of the box i'll be curious when during editing when i add everything up to see what the value of the box is it's definitely going to be at least $170, my guess. Probably even more. All right, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you got in your box. I'm going to be so jealous if any of you got that Danessa Myricks, I think it was a blush palette. I, that I wanted that. I also wanted to try the Patrick Star Powder Foundation. I forget, there was a couple things I was super excited about. And then, I want to say Choice Day was on a Monday or Tuesday. I was busy at work. I forgot. Ugh. All right, enough of me whining and complaining. But do you agree that my box was a little, hmm, considering they said they would base it off of previous selections and my profile? Mm -mm. We know they don't do that. Because if they did, I wouldn't have received that brow product. All right. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a huge favor and click that thumbs up, it really does help with my channel to grow. All right. Thanks, everyone.